This is the last course of the BGP series. As we mentioned previously, BGP is applied to large-scale backbone networks, where high redundancy is deployed. Consequently, each router may obtain multiple routes to the same destination from multiple peers. This means that the BGP route selection rules are required. In this class, we will talk about these rules and describe how to configure routing policies based on the route selection rules. In this topology, R3 learns two routes to the same destination and adds them to the BGP routing table. R3 selects the optimal route and adds it to the IP routing table. R3 advertises only the optimal route to its peers. BGP has a series of route selection rules. During route selection, a router compares route attributes in descending order of the rules. If the optimal rule is selected using the current rule, the router does not proceed to the next rule. As shown in the BGP routing table, two BGP routes to the network 100.0.1.0/24 exist. Of the two routes, the device selects the optimal route, marking it with a right angle bracket. There is always only one optimal route to a network, and only the optimal route can be added to the IP routing table and sent to BGP peers. Before we go into detail about BGP route selection rules, we need to know the following points. First, BGP route selection rules may vary slightly with vendors. Second, there are many specific BGP route selection rules, and this slide only shows the most commonly used ones. Third, the rules are listed in descending order. If the optimal route is selected using the current rule, the router does not proceed to the next rule. To make this easier to understand, let's use experiment topologies to explain the root selection rules. In this topology, R1 and R2 belong to AS100 and AS200, respectively. R3, R4, and R5 belong to AS345. In AS345, OSPF is enabled on involved interfaces, including loopback 0 of R3, R4, and R5. eBGP peer relationships are established using directly connected interfaces. iBGP peer relationships are established using loopback 0 interfaces. An eBGP peer relationship is established between R1 and R3 and between R2 and R5. An IBGP peer relationship is established between R3 and R4, and between R4 and R5. Let's start with the first root selection rule, preferring the root with the largest preferred value. Preferred value is a Huawei proprietary path attribute, and is valid only on the local device. Preferred value is added to routes by the local router when they are received and is removed from the routes when they are advertised to peers. By default, preferred value is zero, which is configurable. Preferred value is equivalent to a root priority. The larger the value, the higher the priority. This slide shows how to modify the preferred value of all routes received from a specified peer. In this topology, R4 learns the route to 100.0.1.0/24 from R3 and R5. After the peer 5.5.5.5 preferred value 10 command is run on R4. R4 sets the preferred value of all BGP routes received from R5 to 10. In this way, R4 prefers the route 100.0.0.1.0/24 received from R5 according to the first route selection rule. The peer 5.5.5.5 preferred value 10 command sets the preferred value of all BGP routes received from R5 to 10. 
If you want to set the preferred value of only one root, configure a root policy. As shown in the figure, there are two network segments. It is required that R4 preferentially select the root 100.0.1.0/24 advertised by R3 and the root 100.0.0.2.0/24 advertised by R5. In this case, we can configure two root policies to filter roots based on two IP prefix lists and set the preferred value of the roots matching the IP prefix lists. Note that an empty node in permit mode needs to be configured in each root policy. Finally, we need to run the peer root policy import command to apply each root policy to the relevant peer. After the configuration is complete, you can view the BGP routing table on R4. As shown on this slide, R4 preferentially selects the root 100.0.1.0/24 advertised by R3 and the root 100.0.2.0/24 advertised by R5. If the optimal root cannot be determined by using the first root selection rule, the second rule is used to select the root with the largest local preference. In this topology, we can configure a root policy to modify the local preference so that R4 preferentially selects the root 100.0.1.0/24 advertised by R3. The root policy can be configured as an export policy on R3 or R5, or as an import policy on R4. In this example, an export policy is configured on R3. If the optimal root cannot be determined using the first two root selection rules, the third rule is used to select the locally originated root. Locally originated roots include roots imported using the network or import root command, manual summary roots, and automatic summary roots. Locally originated roots are selected as follows. 1. Summary roots take precedence over non-summary roots. 2. Manual summary roots generated using the aggregate command take precedence over automatic summary roots generated using the summary automatic command. 3. Roots that are imported using the network command take precedence over roots imported using the import root command. The fourth root selection rule is to preferentially select the root with the shortest AS path. The AS path attribute records all the numbers of ASs through which a root passes from the source to the router that receives the root. The shorter the AS path, the higher the priority. In this topology, R4 receives the root 100.0.1.0/24 from R3 and R5. By default, the AS path lengths of the two roots are the same. To use the fourth root selection rule so that R4 prefers the root advertised by R5, we can create an import policy on R3 to configure R3 to add an AS number to the AS path attribute of the root advertised by R1 after receiving the root. Alternatively, we can configure this import policy on R4. A root policy can be used to modify the AS path of eBGP routes. On Huawei routers, you can also use a root policy to modify the AS path of iBGP routes. Exercise caution when modifying the AS path of BGP routes, because this modification may lead to routing loops. To configure BGP, to ignore AS path length comparison when selecting the optimal route, we can run the best route as path ignore command. By default, the route with the shortest AS path length is preferred. No matter how many AS numbers an AS set contains, BGP regards the AS set as one AS number when calculating routes. In this example, R6 considers that the AS set 100-200 
contains only one AS number when selecting the optimal route. In this case, the AS pass lengths of the two routes to 172.16.0.0/16 are the same. Therefore, R6 needs to compare other attributes to select the optimal route. Although the AS set 999, 100, 200 of the route received from R5 contains three AS numbers, R7 considers that the AS set contains one AS number. In this case, the AS path lengths of the two routes to 172.16. Dot zero dot zero slash sixteen are the same. AS confet sequence and AS confet set are not involved in AS path length calculation. That is, in confederation scenarios, the sub AS numbers are not counted in AS path length calculation. In the topology shown on this slide, R five considers that the AS path of the route. 10.1.1.0/24 learned from R4 contains only one AS number because this AS path is shorter than the AS path of the route learned from R3. R5 prefers the route 10.1.1.0/24 learned from R4. Now, let's talk about the fifth route selection rule which is to preferentially select the route with the highest origin priority. Among the origin values, IGP has the highest priority, followed by EGP, and then incomplete. Origin is also a well-known mandatory attribute. It indicates how a route becomes a BGP route. In the topology, we attempt to use this rule to control the route selection result. A route policy is created on R1 to configure R1 to change the origin attribute of the route 100.0.1.0/24 to incomplete before advertising the route to R3. In this case, R4 prefers the route 100.0.0.1.0/24 advertised by R5. After this configuration is performed, you can view the change of the origin value in the BGP routing table. Now, let's talk about the sixth route selection rule, which is to preferentially select the route with the smallest MED. MED is used to determine the optimal route when traffic enters an AS with multiple ASBRs. The smaller the value, the higher the priority. In this topology, Route policies are configured on A and B so that the MET value of the BGP route 1.1.1.0/24 advertised by A to C is 10, and the MET value of the 1.1.1.0/24 route advertised by B is 20. If other conditions are the same, C preferentially selects the BGP route advertised by A. By default, a router compares the MET values of only the BGP routes that are destined for the same destination and are received from the same neighboring AS. If two routes are destined for the same destination but are received from different neighboring ASs, the router does not compare the MET values to enable the router to compare the MET values in these cases. Run the compare different AS MAT command. If a route does not carry a MAT, BGP considers that its MAT is the default value 0 during route selection. If the best route MAT non AS maximum command is run, BGP considers that its MAT is the largest MAT value 4294967295. If the optimal route cannot be determined using the first six route selection rules, the seventh rule is used to select the route advertised by an eBGP peer. In this topology, R5 learns the BGP route 100.0.1.0/24 from iBGP peer R3 
and the EBGP pair R2. When other conditions are the same, R5 prefers the BGP route learned from R2. This slide provides information about the BGP routing table on R5. We can see that the route received from R3 is not preferred because it is received from an IBGP peer. Now, let's talk about the eighth route selection rule, which is to preferentially select the route with the smallest IGP cost to the next hop. In this topology, R1 and R2 import the route 100.0.1.0/24 to BGP. Consequently, R4 learns the route from R3 and R5. When other conditions are the same, R4 compares the costs of the routes to the two next hops. Because the route learned from R5 has a smaller cost to its next hop, R4 prefers the route learned from R5. In this topology, an IBGP peer relationship is established between R3 and R4, between R4 and R5, and between R3 and R5. R4 is configured as an RR, with R3 as its client. R5 learns the BGP route 100.0.1.0/24 from R3 and R4. And the next hop values are both 3.3.3.3. In this case, the eighth rule cannot be used to select the optimal route. Strictly speaking, the ninth rule is a BGP feature load balancing rather than a route selection rule. When a device receives more than one route to the same destination and the optimal route cannot be selected using the first eight rules. The root attributes of these roots are almost the same. In this case, load balancing can be deployed. In the topology shown on the left, load balancing is not deployed. R2 receives the roots to 8.8.8.0-24 from R1 and R3. The optimal route cannot be selected using first eight rules, since the ninth rule is unavailable in this example. R2 compares the two routes using the rest rules. Suppose the route learned from R1 is selected finally. R2 sends only this route to R4 and adds the route to the IP routing table. In the topology shown on the right, the root selection result is the same as that in the topology on the left, although R1, R2, and R3 are in the same AS. If two equal cost routes are available, but only one is selected, a link may be overburdened, whereas other links are idle, which is a waste of bandwidth. If BGP root load balancing is configured, Multiple equal cost routes are added to the routing table, but only one of these routes is selected as the optimal route and is advertised to peers. Note that BGP route load balancing takes effect only if the attributes involved in the first eight rules are the same, and even the AS numbers in AS path are the same. If BGP load balancing is configured, the local device changes the next hop address to its address regardless of whether the peer next hop local command is run. By default, traffic cannot be balanced among IBGP and EBGP routes on the public network. If multiple routes with the same destination address exist on the public network, the system selects the optimal route first. If the optimal route is an IBGP route, only IBGP routes carry out load balancing. If the optimal route is an EBGP route, only EBGP routes carry out load balancing. If there are multiple routes to the same destination address, but these routes pass through different ASs, by default, load balancing cannot be implemented. To allow these routes to participate in load balancing, run the load balancing AS path ignore command. However, exercise caution 
when running this command because it changes the conditions of root load balancing. The load balancing AS path ignore and best root AS path ignore commands are mutually exclusive. In this topology, the maximum load balancing EBGP2 command is used to set the maximum number of equal cost EBGP roots for load balancing on R2 to 2. However, by default, load balancing cannot be implemented because the two roots have different AS path values. To allow the two roots to participate in load balancing, run the load balancing AS path ignore command. Exercise caution when running this command because it may lead to routing loops. In the IP routing table of R2, two roots to 8.8.8.0/24 are displayed. Implementing load balancing. However, only one route is selected as the optimal route in the BGP routing table. In this topology, the maximum number of equal cost IBGP routes for load balancing is set to 2 on R2 by using the maximum load balancing IBGP2 command because the path attributes of the two routes are the same. The load balancing AS path ignore command does not need to be run. The same situation occurs in this example. In the IP routing table of R2, two routes to 8.8.8.0/24 are displayed implementing load balancing. However, only one route is selected as the optimal route in the BGP routing table. Now, let's talk about the 10th route selection rule, which is to preferentially select the route with the shortest cluster list. If a route does not carry this attribute, the default value 0 is used. In this topology, R5 learns the BGP routes destined for 11.11.11.0/24 from R2 and R4. These two routes carry different cluster list values. In this case, R5 preferentially selects the route with the shortest cluster list, the route advertised by R2, according to this rule. In this topology, R4 is an RR, with R3 as its client. By default, the route that R5 learns from R3 does not contain the cluster list attribute. Therefore, the length of the cluster list attribute carried by this route is considered as zero. The length of the cluster list of the route learned from R4 is one. Therefore, the route learned from R3 is preferred. In the BGP routing table of R5, we can see the two routes to 100.0.1.0. The first route is preferred, and the second route is not preferred, because its cluster list is longer. Now, let's talk about the 11th route selection rule, which is to preferentially select the route sent by the BGP peer with the smallest router ID. In this topology, no BGP routing policies are deployed. R4 learns the BGP routes to 100.0.1.0/24 from R3 and R5. R4 cannot select the optimal route using the first 10 rules. In this case, R4 preferentially selects the route advertised by the peer R3 with the smallest router ID according to this rule. In the BGP routing table of R4, we can see two routes to 100.0.1.0. The first route is preferred, and the second route is not preferred because the router ID of the device from which the route is received is larger. This rule has a supplement. If routes carry the originator ID attribute, the router compares the original IDs rather than router IDs and preferentially selects the route with the smallest originator ID. In this topology, because the two routes carry the originator ID attribute, R2 compares the originator IDs the route. However, the two routes have the same originator ID. In this case, 
R2 uses the last rule to select the optimal route. Now, let's talk about the last route selection rule, which is to preferentially select the route sent by the peer with the lowest IP address. In most cases, the optimal route can be selected before this rule is applied. In the preceding topology, because the peer IP address of R1 is smaller than that of R3, the route learned from R1 is preferred. In the BGP routing table of R2, we can see two routes to 44.44.44.0. The first route is preferred, and the second route is not preferred, because R3's peer IP address is higher. That's all for today. Thanks for listening. 